Hi, this is Victor. Welcome to the channel Vic5 and Zizen4. So today I'm going to show you how to start a new return on TurboTax or how to transfer a return from the previous year. So first we're going to do a new return. I'm actually going to use TurboTax 2018 uh, so that uh, when I transfer it from 2019 uh, then you'll see how easy it is to do that. <laughs> okay. Now the cool thing about the transferring is that once you start a new return you pretty well have to do some information only once, like your name and, and address and SIN number and all that, and that's it. Okay, so let's get started. So what I have here is a sample uh, T4 slip. This is basically what a standard T4 slip looks like. There's really always two copies. The first half is a copy, or there's one, and then the second half repeats. So it's not really two returns, it's just a copy of one over the other. So I've got some basic information put in here. Um, you always have a box 14, you have an employer, you have a SIN number, you have the name, and usually the address there too. And then you have the uh, CPP contribution, box 16, box 18 is the EI contributions, uh, box 22 is the uh, income tax deductions, and then 24, 26 are usually a repeat of box 14. Okay. So let's get started and see how it goes. Okay, so we're, here we have, of course, TurboTax 2018. So what you do is you do a file when you start the first time and you do a new right there. Okay, so when you do new, uh, you have a choice of easy step method, which um, if you're confident, then you can go to the forms method, which is what I usually do. Or you can do this one the first time and it'll help you guide you along. So I'm going to do the forms method right there. And then just on the get started. Okay. And then we have the usual okay. Because uh, I'm using the, the standard version. So it tells you I have A returns plus an additional 12. Okay. Now, so the first thing is title. Um, Mr. First name I'm going to type in is VIK. <laughs> okay, right there. Oh, I'm going to put down five for VIC five. Okay, whoops. Okay. SIN number, of course, you put in your real SIN number, but I'm going to do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Date of birth, I am just going to put in, select the whole thing, and I'm going to do, I always like to. We'll do April 1st, and we'll do, uh, I'm not, we'll do 19, uh, uh, let's see, uh, we'll do 1967, Centennial, here, okay. And we'll put down single, province of Alberta, and that's pretty well it. So you do it okay. Now, if, of course, it gives you the warning that SIN number is invalid, but of course, in the real case, when you put your real one in, you won't have that. Okay, so we'll do yes, proceed. Okay, it says autofill from the income tax. You could try it. I've never tried that myself, but um, then you got to um, sign in to CRA. So I just do a close. Okay, then, of course, here you've got to put your mailing address. So usually you'll put... Uh, um, some address like one 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 Main Street Street. Anyway, that's where you put your address. Your province, city, postal code. Okay, fill that in. Uh, over here, it has the information about you, and you'll put in check off English. Okay, now there's a few things you want to answer. So over here in the Elections Canada, if you want to vote, um, just put in yes and yes, okay? Then over here, you have to answer this question um, about holding property, so I usually put no because I don't. Uh, and then there's another form under forms, the uh, info forms, okay? So there's a few questions you have to answer here. Um, you'll put uh, yes or no. Um, you can do an agree and then put your email in there. Okay. Over here, there is a one question you always need to answer. Otherwise, it'll come up in the review. And this is where you can find to a prison or similar institution for a period of 90 days. Right there. 
So you'll go over here and do no, okay. And, uh, and that's it. So then you go back to the standard form, the TI general right there. And I think I've got everything he answered now here. Um, yes, okay. So then the next thing, okay. So that's basically how you start the return. Then the next part is actually just uh, st going, entering the T4 information, which is really simple. Okay, let's get started on that. Okay, so here we have T slips. So you go T slips right there. Okay, and then of course there's the standard T4. So it always starts with that. There's the T4, and then you could just put down work there. Okay, so the first thing of course is uh, box 14, which is the employment income which as you can see on the form here, I have 40,000. Okay, so then you put 40,000 there. Okay, then you have box 16, which is the CPP, and I have here box 1800. Okay, so then you put 1800. Okay, then box 18 is the next box, which is the EI, and there you have box 18, which is the 650. Okay, so we'll just go over here and do 650. Okay. And uh, then you have income tax deductions, which I have here is 6,500. So that's box 22. Box 22 is 6,500. Then of course you've got box 24 and 26, which is the EI and the pensionable earnings which is usually the same as box 14 for the most part, and there you have it, there are 24 and 26. So we'll put in 40,000. One, two, three, four, and then again, one, two, three, four, there. Now, uh, province of employment is something that they've started a few years ago, so you put that in, so you just gotta click, in this case, it's Alberta. Okay, close that. So for the most part, um, that's it. Now, if you have a few other details, like the terrible donations, you can put that in there as well. But it really is based on what boxes are filled in here. Anything that's filled in here, here, you put into there. Now, there's a box over here that says click here. So if you click here, it opens up all these other boxes. So as you can see, um, it'll cover everything, all the boxes that you have in this T4 slip. Okay, so we'll just close that. Okay, so if all you have is a T4, then you are ready to then close it and then see how much tax you owe or how much you get back. So let's do that. Okay, so um, now watch what's gonna happen. I'm gonna move this over here. Okay, so there's the save and close, okay? So over here, is a summary. So the minute I do the save and close right there, it's gonna update this. So let's watch what happens. Okay, save and close. There we go. So as you can see, total income is 40,000, payable is 5545, credit 6500. That means I get a refund of $955. The marginal change is based on it being zero before. So for a simple tax return, um, that's it. Hi, so if you've made uh, RSP income contributions, then it's very easy to enter those amounts. Now there's gonna be two boxes. Uh, one is gonna be for March to December for the year, and one's gonna be for January and February, because you can contribute um, uh, in the current year and the, the uh, previous year, of course. So let's take a look and see where you enter it in. So it's very easy to find. You go under the T slips over here, right there. You click on that. And you, what you do is you click on these are the federal receipts, right? So what you do is you click on receipts. See, if you change that, you can go really fast. So under receipts over here, there is um, RRSP, which is right there. An RSP, you've got. Uh, you can write down the bank you, you uh, made it at, or for work, it doesn't really matter. But there's the two dates. For last year, for the 2018 return, you have March to December 2018 and January to March 2019. So you'd get two slips and you would put in um, the two amounts. So let's say $600 
whoops, not 6,000, 600, and let's just say 150, okay. So the, the minute that you do a save and close, you can see that this is going to change. Watch that. I'm going to do a save and close and I'm going to change it and see that. So 188. So that means that for a total contribution of $750, you get back, uh, looks like about a quarter at 188. I think it used to be higher, but anyway. So, um, and that completes that. Okay. So there it is. And so, so now the refund is 1142. Now suppose that uh, you had to actually withdraw some RSP. So then of course you're gonna get a bank slip as well and then you've got to put that amount into the uh, income tax form or the software and put that in as well. So let me show you where that is. Okay, so if you withdrew from uh, the your RSP, again go to the T slip and this time go back to the federal slips right there and there's a one here called T4 RSP which is what the bank will send you okay so if you click on that um, there it is now again just from the form fill out the the boxes that correspond to the form uh, that has the amounts but usually what it's going to be is two main boxes box 22 so let's just say I took out $200 okay and I was charged 10% income tax which is the standard for under 5,000 so then income tax deducted under box 30 is going to be $20 okay so once I do a save and close watch how this changes again I'm gonna do a save and close ah, there it is so it uh, reduces it by $29 there you go okay so that is how you uh, deal with uh, RSP whether you have contributions or withdrawals or both okay so that pretty well completes the income tax then what you do is the standard save you do a save and it'll it'll uh, save it in TurboTax 18 <laughs> see over here <laughs> so then I'm just going to put Vic it'll, it'll always pre-fill it out so I'm just going to save that there okay so uh, there it is saved okay so now um, the next step of you, of course, is to file it. But when you file it, uh, it has a review function. Okay. So then you'll do a review over here uh, and click on that uh, right there. And it'll go through a series of questions. I'm not going to go and do that because I'm not ready to file it. Um, and of course, it's a fake return. But uh, it'll ask you standard questions. It'll check and see if there's any contributions you missed, any deductions, any donations, stuff like that. Um, and yes, and then uh, you're ready to go. And then you can net file, which is fairly easy. Okay, so that's it for starting a new return. Now, if you wanted to transfer a new return, it's actually very easy. So what I'm going to do is open up uh, the 2019 uh, TurboTax. Okay, so that is right over here. So I've got 2019 right there, so I'm going to click on that. Okay, so 2019 is now open. So I'm going to go to, right up here, see 2019. What you do instead of new, like you did for the 2018, you do transfer a 2018 return. And then, of course, it comes up with there. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to click on that, do an open. Okay, and it's going to pop up with the same question. Do you want easy step or forms? And of course, I'm going to do forms. And I'm going to do get started. Okay. Now it's going to pre-populate the information from the return. So, of course, there's the VIC, 5, the SIN number, the birthday, the single, the Alberta. So, in this case, don't have to fill it all out. Just can uh, click OK and get started. Okay. So, then we do okay and of course it's because it's not a real SID number it asks that question but in your case it when you put your real one it wouldn't ask that there it is and of course it has the information as well and then you do a continue and you're back to uh, continue and you're back to all over again and then you do the same thing again you do the English you do the. You have to do this. Repeat this step every year. Do a election candidate. Yes, if you want to have that. 
uh, Indian property, foreign property, no if you don't. The uh, usual forms, info, this has to be done every time. You do the mailing address, yes. You do the agree, the email. You do the prison question, which is right over here. Uh, there it is. See where you can find to a prison, right there, in the middle. You go over to here and do no. Then you go back to your forms, T1, and then you go to your slips, and you're ready to start your next year's return, which in this case is the current year 2019. So that's how easy it is to use TurboTax. Um, of course, when you have other stuff like donations and charitable ones, you can always look that up as well. And investments, and of course it gets a little bit more complicated there. But once you start using it, and when you continue to use it, it gets easier every time. Okay, so um, thank you for watching. If you like this video, give me a like and please subscribe. And I will see you in my next episode. Okay, bye-bye.